you can actually turn your Toyota Hybrid into a plug-in hybrid. Yes, it is possible and very easy, and I'm going to show you in this video, so stick around. Today is actually my birthday, and what better way to celebrate just showing you how to turn your regular Toyota Hybrid into a plug-in hybrid. First thing we gotta do is we have to take out the high-voltage battery. Here we go. Obviously, we took out the battery because we need to open it apart, but first, I need to protect myself with stage one, then stage two, and ready. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the service plug rib. Remember, I need to open up the circuit of the high voltage battery. So how do we turn the regular Toyota hybrid into a plug-in hybrid? Well, what we need to do is obviously connect a special charger to the high voltage battery, which I'm going to show you right away. Once I disconnect the high voltage system, I will need to... I'm taking off my glove because actually once this circuit is open, it's completely safe to work on the high voltage battery. You're going to need a special high voltage battery connector that allows us to plug in the high voltage battery into a special grid charger. This is it. This is nothing more and nothing less than a special connector which we're going to connect positive to positive high voltage, negative to negative high voltage, actually a special device which is the high voltage battery cooling fan control board that allows us to bypass the signal from the computer to the high voltage battery cooling fan. I strongly recommend use this type of system only for nickel metal hydride batteries because the high voltage battery using nickel metal hydride does not have a self-balancing system. Hence, eventually you will need to force rebalance. So I'm gonna use my insulator tool to disconnect the main high voltage positive and high voltage negative. Then what I'm going to do is connect the main positive to the main positive and the main negative to the main negative. So let me plug it in, watch this. So the first we're going to connect is the main positive which we're going to put it right here. There it is. We're also going to connect now the main negative. Just tie it up. That should be it. Once she's connected, obviously we need to secure and plug in the high voltage battery cooling fan, which has come with the special connector to it. And then this is the connector that is going to the vehicle's main connections. As I said, this is just a bypass and a battery fan controller. Once you connect your high voltage special cable to the charger, that will activate the cooling fan once you begin to force rebalance the high voltage battery. Once this properly located over here and secure, we can just install this in the vehicle and let me show you. Another component that we're gonna need, of course, is the special great high voltage battery charger. Come and see the plug-in hybrid. There it is. This special connector completely insulated from chassis ground. And then of course, a safety cap that you can just, once you disconnect it, you can connect this directly into the great charger. So what I'm going to do is, once I extract my special connector, I bring my special grid charger Open up the little cap, connect it right here to the special connector. Let me plug this in now. Here we go. There it is. We are now injecting 180 volts at a low current rate. But Jose, what is the main purpose to turn your car into a plug-in hybrid if it's a regular hybrid? The reason is to force rebalance your battery because it cannot be done via battery management system. So what we do, we're just using a low current special grid charger to force rebalance. Just connect your vehicle to the grid charger for at least 16 to 24 hours and you will be always reconditioning in order to use its maximum capacity available because the battery will be always in balance. In other words, this is how you can recondition in your high voltage battery yourself every three months to keep the battery with its maximum capacity available. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. Bye bye.